I am Lieutenant Annalisa Saraza and I am the State Master Resilience Training Coordinator and I will be going over the resilience program in the Maryland Army National Guard. The four pillars of the Comprehensive Soldier Fitness Program are the Global Assessment Tool, the Comprehensive Resilience Modules, the Master Resilience Trainers, and the Institutional Resilience Training. The first pillar is the Global Assessment Tool. For your Global Assessment Tool, you can see the status in your AKO. It comes up in your medical readiness. It's an annual requirement, so if you haven't taken it, you want to make sure that you're green. But all you do is just click on Global Assessment Tool, ask you to log in with your CAC, and you can just click through here, and once you have your scores, it comes up with individualized training modules based on your results. The second pillar is the Comprehensive Resilience Modules. From your results from the Global Assessment Tool, you get your Comprehensive Resilience Modules. So to get through those training modules, you just click on Continue to Comprehensive Soldier Fitness Training Modules. The Comprehensive Soldier Fitness has different resilience modules and it's kind of broken up into the different dimensions, emotional, social, family, spiritual, physical. A great thing about the Global Assessment Tool is that it's completely confidential and the only thing that leadership can see is whether or not you've taken it. And so leaders can actually go in and request leadership reports and you just press on Request Leader Access and you just fill in the information and you can pull up the information about your unit. The third pillar are the Master Resilience Trainers. These are individuals who are sent to four different locations to receive the skills to be able to teach resilience in units as well as train the resilience training assistants. There are currently four locations, the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, uh, Fort McCoy, Wisconsin, Fort Custer, Michigan, and Fort Jackson, South Carolina. The fourth pillar is institutional resilience training. The institutional resilience training in the Maryland Resilience Program include the resilience training assistants, which are trained on the state level, and the quarterly resilience training done by your unit master resilience trainers. Resilience training assistants can only be trained by the master resilience trainers. This is a four-day course that is run by the state. And we also have a website for you to come and see more information about it, as well as get in contact with us. So if you go to the Maryland homepage, and on the right side, under what's hot, you can see the suicide prevention R3SP. If you click on it, it brings you to the Resilience, Risk, Reduction, and Suicide Prevention homepage. You can read a little description about each program, as well as has the contact information of myself, Sergeant Barbour, and Sergeant Dethy, who are currently on the Master Resilience Training Team. In addition to Sergeant Barbour, Sergeant Dethy, and myself, in the Maryland Resilience Program, we currently have over 25 Master Resilience Trainers. As Master Resilience Trainers continue to be trained, our numbers will also increase. If you go to DTMS and you look under mandatory training, you have the Global Assessment Tool as well as the Comprehensive Soldier Fitness Quarterly Resilience Training. So all this is tracked. So that's where it's imperative to have master resilience trainers as well as resilience training assistants so that you don't have to go outside of your unit to have these skills trained. In this way, you would already have trainers embedded with your unit and able to fit with your schedule. Our first resilience training assisting course was run in February, and since then we've trained over 80 resilience training assistants for the state. Another portion of the resilience program is resilience being taught in the Yellow Ribbon Reintegration Program. Currently we have master resilience trainers that are training the pre-deployment and post-deployment 30 and 60 day. You can contact me directly, Annalisa Saraza at ng.army.mil. It's also found on our website through the Maryland homepage.